Hola clase y bienvenido. Hoy vamos a hacer una lección eh, sobre el uso del lenguaje y esta es la lección número 2 de unidad 3A y esta lección va a tomar 15 minutos más o menos. Aquí vamos. En esta lección yo puedo leer e interpretar oraciones sobre visitas o viajes, escuchar y comprender oraciones que contienen verbos en el tiempo del pretérito, prever algunos verbos del tiempo pretérito que son irregulares. Ok, vamos a recordar, let's recall los verbos que son regulares, regulares en el pretérito, en the three different endings. So, we had, and actually, sorry, the three different um, endings, but two of the endings, ER and IR, will be the same ending. So, let's look at AR verbs. And for AR verbs that were regular in the preterite or simple past tense, we had E, ASTE, O, AMOS, ASTEIS, ARON. ER and IR verbs, remember they share endings in the preterite, and they are E, ISTE, IO, IMOS, ISTEIS, and DIERON. Okay, and we're recalling these because today what we're going to do is we're going to start to look at some more irregular verbs. So you learned a group of irregular verbs last week, which were the diva verbs, the verbs dar, ir, ver, and ser. And um, we're going to look at verbs that have a little bit more of a pattern to them. And next lesson, we're really going to focus on conjugation, but today I want you to just hear the verbs think of the pattern, and at the end of this lesson, you're going to do comprehension questions on this is language. Okay, so the first verb, hacer, que significa to do or to make, and more specifically, hacer un viaje, which is more of an expression to take a trip. And the question is, hiciste un viaje en el año pasado? Did you take a trip or did you do a trip last year? Si, hice un viaje. Fui a Francia. Yes, I took a trip. I went to France. So you have the verb hacer, and this is the preterite tense of the verb hacer. As you can see, it's irregular. The question is, hiciste? And the answer is, hice. Second irregular verb I want you guys to preview is the verb estar, to be. The question is, por cuánto tiempo estuviste en Francia? How long were you in France? Estuve allá por un mes. I was there for a month. So the verb is estar, irregular verb. And the form is estuviste and estuve. Next verb is tener, to have. And the question is, tuviste la oportunidad de visitar sitios históricos? Did you have the opportunity to visit historic sites? Sí, tuve la oportunidad de visitar los monumentos en París. Yes, I had the opportunity to visit the monuments in Paris. So the verb is tener, the irregular forms are tuviste and tuve. And then one last irregular verb, the verb poder, to be able to. More specifically, no poder in the preterite tense is to be unable to, but it gives more of a connotation of something being not possible physically. And the question is, que no pudiste hacer? What didn't you manage to do? No pude ver la Torre Eiffel. I didn't manage to see the Eiffel Tower. So the verb is poder, and the irregular forms are pudiste and pude. Let's go back to the first one, okay? Because I want you guys to hear how these verbs sound. So you have hiciste, hice, estuviste, estuve, tuviste, tuve, pudiste, Pude. Okay, and if I would point this out, the one thing is without getting into the conjugation, there is a pattern here. Okay, yes, these verbs are irregular, and as you're going to see in more detail in the next lesson, there actually is a formula and a pattern that we're going to use to learn these irregular verbs, and I hope that makes you feel better. This is the transcript of um, the video that I'm going to have you watch for this lesson today. And the prompt is, háblame de un viaje o intercambio escolar que hiciste. Talk to me or discuss a trip or a school exchange that you did. And here is the transcript of the student, the male student. Um, and I wanted to put this out for you guys so that you were able to read it um, in anticipation of watching the video 
Okay, I know you guys, some of you have been struggling with these videos a little bit. So I wanted you guys to have this as a resource. So go ahead and read this transcript in anticipation. Take a look at some of the verbs, especially the ones that I put in bold for you. I've given you some sentence phrases that you can work with in English. And I think this will make the um, listening to the video part a whole lot more manageable. I hope you will also appreciate that. Um, and here's the link to the video. Okay, you click on it and it's going to take you to the video. Actually, it's going to take you to this is language and you'll log in. Um, and the video ID is 9634. But um, the assignment will already be there for you. I hope you guys will appreciate that um, in this lesson, I tried to make it a little bit shorter for you. So after you read the transcript, watch the video. I only have given you as an assignment the comprehension questions to do. So I don't think this lesson in total is going to take you too long. Um, but if you have any questions, let me know as always, and I'll see you in the next lesson, muchachos. Okay, so let me make my screen big. Okay. Adios.